Hello everyone. I'm Shobhuri from hookedinloops.com. If you have still not subscribed to my channel then please hit the subscribe button and for getting updates of new videos then please click the bell icon. Today I have a very beautiful crochet bookmark tutorial and I have made this beautiful peacock feather bookmark. Isn't the pattern flawless? So let's get started. For this project I have used embroidery floss and a crochet hook of size 1.75 mm. We will begin our tutorial with a magic circle. I have taken a deep blue colored yarn and at first made a magic circle. And then we will begin the first round. So for the first round we will do chain 3 at first. This chain 3 is the first double crochet of this round. And then in the magic circle we will be doing 11 double crochets. So in total we are having 12 double crochets in this round taking the first chain 3 as a double crochet. So we will quickly complete our double crochets. We will pull the tail of the magic circle to close the circle and then complete this round with a slip stitch in the third chain of the starting chain 3 of this round. Ok so insert your hook in the third chain of the starting chain 3 and draw the yarn through it and just do a slip stitch followed by a chain 1 and then cut the yarn and with this our first round ended. For the second round we will take a light blue colored yarn and make a slip knot with that. And then insert the hook in it. And then we will begin the second round. So we will slip stitch in the third chain of the starting chain 3 of the previous round and do a slip stitch there followed by a chain 1 and in the spin stitch we will be doing one single crochet stitch. In the next stitch we will be doing two single crochets in the next stitch we will do one single crochet as you can see written on the video screen and then in the following stitch we will do two single crochet stitches okay This is the first half of the second round. In the next stitch, we will do three half double crochet stitches. This is the top mid portion of the oval shape. Okay. And then in the following stitches, we will just do the mirror image stitches of the first part. So in the this stitch, we are doing two single crochet stitches. In the following stitch we will do one single crochet, two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the following stitch. After this we are left with the lower three stitches. So here we will do one single crochet in the following stitch we will do three single crochet stitches the lower portion of the oval 
is a bit pointed so for that we are doing three single crochets in this uh, one stitch and done and after that we are left with the last stitch and there we will do one single crochet stitch and with this the second round ended to complete this round simply do a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch of this round followed by a chain one and then just cut the yarn and the second round ended For the second round, we will use a yellow colored yarn, make a slip knot and insert the hook in it. Then begin the round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch of the previous round. Followed by a chain 1 to secure the slip stitch. In the same stitch, we will do one single crochet stitch. In the following stitch, we will do one single crochet and then in the next stitch, we will do one single crochet and one half double crochet in the same stitch. In the following stitch, we will do one half double crochet stitch. And then in the next stitch, we will do one half double crochet and one double crochet in the same stitch. And then one double crochet in the next stitch. And in the following stitch, we will do one half triple crochet. And with this, the first half of this third round is completed. In the next stitch, we will do one triple crochet. Followed by a chain one. And then one triple crochet in the same stitch. And the top mid portion is done. Now in the following stitches we will just do the mirror image of the stitches of the first half of this oval. So in the next stitch we are doing one half triple crochet. In the following stitch we will do one double crochet. In the next stitch one double crochet and one half double crochet in the same stitch. In the following stitch, one half double crochet, one half double crochet in the next stitch, and one single crochet in the same stitch. And then in the next two stitches, we will do one single crochet in each one of those. We are now left with the lower 5 stitches. So the stitches are in the next stitch we will do 1 single crochet. 1 single crochet in the following stitch. In the next stitch we will do 2 single crochet stitches. And then in the last two stitches, we will do one single crochet in each one of those. Okay. We will complete the third round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch of this round, followed by a chain one and simply cut the yarn. And with this, the third round ended. For the fourth round, I chose the navy blue color 
and at first made a slip knot and inserted the hook in it and then began the fourth round. So slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch of the previous round and then do a chain 1 to secure the slip stitch. In the same stitch we will do one single crochet. In the following stitch we will do one single crochet and then in the next stitch we will do an increase that is two single crochets okay in the next three stitches we will do one single crochet in each one of those And then in the following stitch we will do two single crochet stitches. In the next three stitches again we will do one single crochet in each one of those. And with this the first half of this fourth round ended. In the following chain 1 space, we will do 3 single crochet stitches. And after that, we will do the middle image stitches of the first half. So in the next stitch, we will do 1 single crochet. And in the following 2 stitches also, we will do 1 single crochet in each one of those. In the following stitch we will do two single crochets and in the next three stitches we will do one single crochet in each one of those. In the following stitch we will do two single crochets and then in the next two stitches one single crochet in each one of those. One single crochet in each of the following three stitches. And then a chain 1 and in the last 3 stitches 1 single crochet in each one of those. And we will complete this round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch of this round. Followed by a chain 1. And then we will uh, cut the yarn and complete this fourth round. We will do the fifth round with a sky blue colored yarn and make a slip knot and insert the hook in it. And just do a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch of the previous round. Followed by a chain 1 to secure it. In the same stitch we will do 1 single crochet and then in the next stitch we will do 1 half double crochet stitch. In the following stitch also we will do 1 half double crochet stitch. In the next stitch we will do 1 half double crochet and 1 double crochet in the same stitch. In the next two stitches we will do one double crochet in each one of those and then in the next stitch we will do one double crochet and one half triple crochet in the same stitch In the next four stitches we will do one half triple crochet in each one of those And then in the following two stitches we will do one triple crochet in each one of those.
and with this the first half is completed now we will do the mid top portion so in the next stitch we are doing one triple crochet followed by a chain one and one triple crochet in the same stitch so the mid top portion is done and now the next part will be the mirror image of the first half so in the following two stitches we are doing one triple crochet in each one of those in the next four stitches we'll do one half triple crochet in each one of those In the next stitch we will do one half triple crochet and one double crochet in the same stitch and then in the following two stitches we will be doing one double crochet in each one of those. And then in the following stitch we will do one double crochet and one half double crochet in the same stitch. And in the next two stitches we will do one half double crochet in each one of those and then in the next stitch we will do one single crochet and with this the second half of the oval is completed now the lower portions so in the following three stitches we are doing one single crochet in each one of those and then in the chain one space we are doing two single crochet stitches after that in the last three stitches we are doing one single crochet in each one of those and with this our fifth round ended complete this round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch of this round followed by a chain one and just cut the yarn and the fifth round has also ended we will do the sixth round with a light green colored yarn so just take the yarn make a slip knot and insert the hook in it and as usual we will slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch of the previous round followed by a chain one to secure it we will do one single crochet in the same stitch and also in the next two stitches we will be doing one single crochet in each one of those okay and then in the following stitch we will do two single crochet stitches and we will repeat this pattern for three more times that is in the next three stitches we are doing one single crochets in each one of those and in the following stitch we are doing two single crochets in the same manner in the next three stitches we are doing one single crochet in each one of those and in the following stitch we are doing two single crochets again in the next three stitches we are doing one single crochet in each one of those and then in the following stitch we are doing two single crochet stitches and the first half is done then in the chain one space we are doing two single crochet stitches followed by a chain one and then two single crochet stitches in the same chain one space the top portion is also done and now we will do the mirror image of the first half so in the following stitch two single crochets and in the next three stitches we are doing one single crochet in each one of those in the following stitch we are doing two single crochets again and in the following three stitches we are doing one single crochet in each one of those and we will repeat this pattern for two more times
now we will do the lower portion so in the next four stitches we are doing one single crochet in each one of those and then we will do a chain one and in the last four stitches also we will do one single crochet in each one of those We will complete this round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch of this round followed by a chain 1 and we will cut the yarn and with this the 6th round ended. So now we will do the last round. We will take a deep green colored yarn for the last round and make a slip knot and insert the hook in it. We will slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch of the previous round. Followed by a chain 1 to secure the slip stitch. And then in the same stitch we will do one single crochet and in the next stitch we will do another single crochet. Then we will do a chain 3 picot. Okay. And this is how we do the picot stitch. That is chain 3 and slip stitch in the top of the single crochet stitch. In the following 2 stitches also we will do one single crochet in each one of those. Then we will do a chain 3 picot. For that we will do a chain 3 and then slip stitch by inserting the hook in the top of the single crochet stitch and draw the yarn through it and do a slip stitch. We will repeat it for one more time. That is one single crochet in the next two stitches followed by a chain 3 picot. So this picot stitch is giving a beautiful border to our uh, peacock feather. Then in the next stitch we will do one single crochet and repeat the first portion of the pattern that is one single crochet in the following two stitches followed by a chain 3 picot. Okay. So with this we created a space between the first and the second um, uh, uh, part of the border with us uh, three single crochet stitches in between them. I hope you understood what I meant. So we did two sets of three picot borders. Okay. Like this. And then again in the following stitch we will do one single crochet and then in the next two stitches we will do one single crochets each followed by a chain 3 picot. We will repeat it for 7 more times. Okay. That is two single crochets followed by a chain three picot like this. Now after doing four such sets, we have got a chain one space of the previous round, but we will skip that and we will just repeat one single crochet in the next two stitches followed by chain three picot as earlier. That is we just skipped the chain one space of the previous round and proceeded with our uh, pattern. So in the top portion of this round, we are having a total of 8 such uh, picot borders. Okay. Done. Top portion is done. And then just the mirror image of the first half. That is in the next stitch, one single crochet. And then... In the following two stitches, one single crochet each followed by a chain 3 picot. And repeat this pattern two more times. Okay, so just repeat the first half of this oval and the first half is done.
and then we are left with the lower portion of this round so in the next three um, next four stitches we are doing one single crochet in each one of those and then we will do one single crochet and a pico in the following chain one space and then in the last four stitches we are doing one single crochet in each one of those and then we will complete this round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch of this round followed by a chain one and we will simply cut the yarn and our peacock feather pattern is now complete and it is absolutely beautiful and flawless isn't it comment in the comment section for any um, suggestions anyways let's proceed to the next part of the bookmark for the lower portion tail of the bookmark we will take the white colored yarn make a slip knot and slip stitch in the uh, lower chain 3 pico and then we will do chain 35 now it depends on your wish how many number of chains you want depending on uh, the length you want uh, okay length of the tail so I choose total 35 chains and then we will do one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and slip stitches in each of the following chains okay We will slip stitch in the last chain and then slip stitch in the chain 3 picot from where we began followed by a chain 1 and just cut the yarn. So the tail is also ready just weaving the loose ends. Now the last part. We will embroider the white portion of that picot feather in this manner. okay so it's done so our bookmark is ready just weave in the loose ends and at the bottom of the tail just add a tassel so I made this tassel it's very easy just stitch the tassel to the lower portion of the tail and tie a knot and just weave in the loose ends okay and our bookmark is now ready so this is all about our tutorial I hope you liked this tutorial and it was easy for you to follow if you liked this tutorial then please hit the like button comment in the comment section for any queries I have a website at www.hookedinloops.com and you will get this pattern very soon in my website and please please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a great day